We're going this is Amish Gamer, and now we're returning to Age of Empires 2 DE. Let's continue with our Spanish campaign. The Exile of the Cid. Sorry about that. Had real life. So, the exile of the Cid. King Alfonso sent his most loyal and able servant, Rodrigo Diaz, the Cid, into exile with only his horse, Babieca. Myself and our two daughters were left at the monastery in Castile. When Rodrigo and I parted, it felt like a nail being torn from its finger. Rodrigo rode alone into the Castilian winter. He was not alone for long. Everywhere the Cid went, mercenaries and soldiers were eager to follow. Soon, he had a small army of his own. But the Cid was not content to wander the wilds of Castile forever. He needed a castle and a lord to serve. These two he found in the most unlikely of places. I would expect him to have like a bigger following than a small army. Elsim must find a new city in which to live and a new lord to serve. Elsim must survive. Elsim is restricted to... Okay, so I will be, I guess, doing some city building. No longer leads the Spanish army, so become familiar with the Saracen technology tree. Okay. I mean, I play Saladin, so kind of know it. Elsim does not view Alfonso as an enemy so much as misguided. As such, you should not destroy anything of Alfonso's unless you are forced to. Know when to fight and when to run away. You may need to destroy walls that block your path, but only if there is no alternative. I cannot stand the sight of you, El Cid. I command that you leave my kingdom at once. Mustad Hassan. All right. Any of you want to join me? You're welcome. Nice. Yes, I know that the king is irate, but certainly you do not need to leave without your trusty Babieca. She waits for you in the stable to the northwest. Yeah, I was like, why is he not mounted? <laughs> Find a new lord to serve. Is it northwest or north? Oh, there's my horse, I think. Here is your horse. Do not judge the king, Alfonso, too harshly. We will open the gates for you now. Godspeed. I actually like that, like, right? They kind of explain the situation. You gotta play it. I still don't know why you would exile someone like that. They'll turn hostile once I reach a certain area? I'm assuming. That's enough of a head start. If the seed shows his face near our city again, you may open fire. King Alfonso is a fool to send you into exile. You will follow where you lead, my seed. Now. Yeah, let's leave this area. You have some followers. It's nice. Have to keep Sid alive. I don't know what to expect. Though. Really? Are these like assassins? I mean, there might be a way around them. But they seem hesitant. Maybe they're one of those stand ground until attacked sort of thing. I find it silly, right? Why not just use him? Oh, I can't go through here. Is there another path out? Or 
Or is this path like the only way forward? Wait, this is it Frank's? What? <laughs> Is there anything here? Nope. I'm pretty sure they're hostile. I was able to get really close without triggering them. Oh, they're neutral. Well, I said neutral, but. Let's focus on you guys. Oh, did I get hit there? No. Well, yes. Actually, I don't know. Greetings, my seat. My lord Motamid has heard of your situation and welcomes you to join him at his city of Zaragoza. It is just a short ride to the southeast of here. Mustad. Yeah, he could heal, so I need to use him to scout and take some damage. Not too much, but just enough so that he's fast. In I think he's faster than uh, than the cavalry. Let's at least use this opportunity to scout everything out. It, you never know, I might find new allies. I might find things that I might not get a chance to discover later on. I have to pay attention. Like, this isn't just a scout cavalry that I can just run around, explore, if I lose it. It's a shame, but you know, such is life. I have to keep him alive. It says neutral, but my seat. King Alfonso has blockaded the gap leading to Zaragoza. If we are to get through, we must siege his castle. Perhaps we can find the troops we need in the south. The south? I'm guessing you're talking about down here. But unless we get trebuchets. My seat, what little we have is yours if you can just destroy Alfonso's castle to the north. I see a relic. But you get a trebuchet. Now. Destroy Alfonso's castle. I do have a trebuchet. I do have some resources. I'm curious if I could get by without it. Defensive stance. Be very careful. Get rid of you. Bait you out of the. Oh, that you are playing smart. Not smart enough. So looks like I do need to get through here. There's a relic, but I don't have a monastery. Otherwise, I would love to start accumulating gold right now. Actually, a monk would actually be pretty nice too. Of I mean, <clears throat> it's weird that they're like, oh, he's blockading you. I'm like, 
Castle, well, I mean, in game, yeah, it's built pretty quickly, but a real castle isn't like built overnight. So it's not like. I mean, you could build a camp, you could build some fortification, but. Seems a little crazy that. Hey, he just blockaded you. It's like, I, I'm sure that castle was. I see. He should not travel in this direction. Leads to the holds of our enemy, Lord Berenger. Saragossa lies to the south. El Cid, we stand nothing to gain by fighting against each other. Let us call a truce, and each of us just go our separate ways. Why do I not trust him? Where do you think you're going with my relic? Did I say you could grab my relic? Hey, better leave. <laughs> That's my relic. That is my relic. So what is through here? Here's an okay, I found them. I mean, I do want to protect the relic, but let's keep the trebuchet. It might be very valuable. Might be. I don't know. We meet again, El Cid. You could not have arrived at a better time. The army of Count Berenger is approaching our gates. If defeat him, What's then that? you may have to land outside my city gates as your own. Oh, I mean, that shouldn't be too tough. I have castle supporting. Let's focus on Magno first. Boy, Siege. Yeah, you all single-handedly win this, so I'm not too worried. I destroyed that. Okay, I see. Where's my trebuchet? Where's my trebuchet? Are they going for relics or something? Finish him off. Throw that. I'm like, where's my trebuchet? <laughs> I'm like, where's my trebuchet? <laughs> what do they mean the city outside? Okay, you're outside the gates. I forgot, it's for Saracen, Market, Galley, Archers, Mamluks, all right. Make sure the relic is safe. Put you. Actually, I should still put you defensive. I hope they don't get converted. But these are mine. I hope I don't lose it. Thank you for saving my city. Here is a small reward for your travel. Now you may use these villagers to build your own encampment northwest of Saragossa. But be vigilant. Berenger may come again. Okay, let's first get monastery. I could get some gold production. Let's scout out this area. Where do I want to build? Oops. 
Let's get the town center right there. There's some trees. Defeat Orangus. Alright. Watch me lose the villagers and just lose. <laughs> Right, I that got that sooner. Move faster. What's around here? Oh what? Are you kidding? Oh, they are still attacking. I need to build a town center in here then. Or it's safer. I grab the relic. Yeah, I need to build up a larger military. Oh, there is. That would have been a much better location to build build up stuff. Why did I choose the front? Don't ask me. I wasn't quite thinking, okay. Okay, you got that. Deliver it. Now I will need, I mean I need to build some forces. Let's get some light cavalry. Uh, let's get you to safety. Verbally. But they are still attacking. My great annoyance. Okay, you will start chopping trees. A good place to start. And you will start getting farms going. I don't see any other. The castle should keep us more or less mostly safe. Because we'll go here. Get healed up. I don't see any stone, so expanding outside there is going to be actually kind of kind of difficult. We'll build there. I wish my ally is a bit more useful, but. Expect right. Build more here. I need to see all the resources. I think I also need a dock to take advantage of the fish. The question is, are there any stones? Stones can actually be pretty amazing right now. Be able to build a castle where get a dock here. Okay, I need houses. I mean, they are going to take that down. Like, I don't have anything. Really to hold them back. I have a hundred. Is there anything there? 
So they are just gonna systematically clear out everything. All right. And you can start. I want you more gold. Uh, let's get some fishing boats. I do need the upgrade for this as soon as I have access. Actually, more on wood, please. Get more. Like, I'm not too worried about those falling. They're a bit of a minor thing compared to the other problems <laughs> I'll be facing. I do need more farms, yes. I don't know which side they will attack. I will need, um, I think, I think Gilnet's a bit more important. I think. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Get more on wood. Definitely need. In terms of food, I should be looking to be in a better spot. Right now, it's the wood that's... Yeah, I don't need as many uh, farms if I have enough fishing boats. With the relic, my gold production is good. I mean, I could always build more markets. I also need more houses. I have a lot of things I need for it that way. Right, I have to make sure not to forget about him because if he dies, it's over. So let's actually save before I do something stupid like that. I need to explore if there are... They tell me there's stones somewhere. Because right now it seems like there isn't any. Yeah, market back here. You need more houses. Get those done. Do I need more wood? A bit more gold would be nice. A bit more on gold. Um, I don't like the looks of that. Okay, so that's their territory. Got it. Knight, okay. Not <laughs> Paladin or Cavalier. Something like that. And I can finally get rid of some of these guys. Can you fight all of those? Yes, come at me, come on. Don't be shy. Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, you're actually stuck. You might die. The castle isn't helping? I did all that and... I didn't even get thanks for that. Oh, thanks game. Uh, more on gold. Food. Where's my monk? Oh, 
Oh, of course they charge it out like complete idiots. But what you expect? Unless there was stone here. I don't recall seeing any stone. Okay, you will start upping trees here. In terms of gold, I should be in a pretty good spot. Just get two more of those. And I should have enough to prove that. I'm not gonna bother with that. Well, I said I could finally, but I don't have enough wood. <laughs> and I do. Such a just do waypoint be easier. I mean, I guess I could, in theory, just buy stone. I have a market. In theory, I have infinite gold. Uh, I want to buy stone. Apparently here units don't get healed. I just don't know where their forces are coming from. Oh come on, of course. You're going to die. Damn it! That was, that was annoying. Alright, I'll get a couple more villagers and then I'll advance to the next era. Oh great. I'm gonna lose the monk as well. And let's get a couple of monks so they can out heal the damage. Alright, um I also need that were there. Shout out here a bit. I think that's where they're coming from. Let's get a castle. And then I can work on... And then I can work on the mine there. I need two more houses. I need a blacksmith to make my units better. Let's do that. And university, I, I don't know what... I leave my units alone. I will replenish these units. It's not a huge loss, thanks. Okay. I'll finish that castle, get some upgrades. I'm still not in like an amazing position yet. I don't know how far my boats had to go gather food. And once I get a castle here, life will be a bit easier defending all of that. Send you guys to build mine there. You can help heal up everyone. Still not an Imperial Age yet. I'm still missing out on some. Technologies. Get a university. 
I could get Elite Mamluks. Oh, oh, that's that's wonderful. Camel units, Oak monks. I need to start building. Wait, I hear. Okay, I was like, I hear combat. More units. I'll really be getting a lot of camel units. I feel like it. Nam, nam. I think I need a bit more on food. Build that a bit closer. Up buildings faster. We have a lot of work to do. Put it that way. I'm like, why are... Wait, they can only be healed by one? You stable. Make sure I have all the upgrades. Build renewable. I have a decent amount of wood, so let's not travel like on the distance. A camel and navel. Oh, let's definitely get Hussars. And if I could get my food production up. That would help. Okay, yeah, I was like, what is that sound? It's the fish traps. I'm like, I just hear water. But I'm like, I'm nowhere close to water. I do get trebuchets right now. Excellent. Um, so units. Strengthen our buildings. Yes. I'm still a bit, a bit annoyed. Oh. Phew. Just don't hear this whole time. I don't know if it's guarded or if they laid claim to it. I've taken a long time. Discover this. They're probably already mining it. Nope, they haven't. Oh, it's like right outside their territory. Um, actually, let's buy more stone. I don't know if I could buy enough. Yeah, that's expensive. They have a castle here. Huh. Yeah, so there was no way for me to get through that. Oh, that's cute. I actually think they stand a chance against Sid. I mean, they might. But get overconfident. I would love to destroy that, though. Every control group five. I just like Hussars because of the 
who cost helps a lot. Yeah, they are still producing throwing axemen from there, so... Let's take it out, so that'll be like one less enemy. And then will allow me to explore more of this area to see what else... I should be aware of. Is this all nothing? Oh, there's gold. So it's not like completely nothing. I forgot to finish that. That was kind of stupid of me. I mean, you could fight a pikeman. One. A couple, maybe not so good. I don't know about halberdiers. Eh, actually. It might be a lot closer if he's facing halberdiers. Or is that? Anything else of note? Speaking of which, um, are there more upgrades yet? They have a lot of wood stocked up, but that's normally... Like once you get through the building phase yet... Explore more of this. Do I need a path through there? I mean, in theory, I could trade with Alfonso, but it's just such a far distance I have to cover. I don't know if it's quite worth it. I have a relic. I have enough gold mines, so... Wait, what? Where? They're like, you're under attack. I'm like, okay, by who? And it's like, nope. Don't mind us. Okay, there are boars. Let's get a couple of these. My food production is uh, <laughs> really questionable. Okay, I do have more. My goodness. I guess you could tear that down. Oh, these are... Oh, these are... Okay, these are not mine. Just... Or these, those, at least. I'm almost at my... Oh, I'm pretty much at my population cap. Are there enemies I could bait out? If that's all I can bait out, that is pretty sad. Yeah, the crossbows aren't doing much. Okay, there, that's becoming a bit worrying. Bring them to the castle, but they will get slaughtered. Yep, 
come closer. Get wrecked on my castle. Actually, does the castle aim for targets that are the easiest to take out? Don't know. That does it. Control group three. Four. Yep, start attacking this university, I guess. I'm going to first take out the gate. And then I'll take out the castle. And then we'll go from there. I just create one opening and then that's all I will need. Really? Why are you not attacking? And you two will target the castle. I don't need all of you attacking the gate. But breaking through the gate is useful. Oh look, battering rams are coming out. That's good. Even he needs three hits to kill these villagers. The villagers are too hardy in my opinion. Warm it. Don't let it get to your trebuchets. It can actually hurt them pretty bad. Oh. Alright. We have broken through. Oh, I was like, really? They are rebuilding that? Focus on this. Target that. This university is lower on my priority. Think about it. Go we'll target that. Three of you will target this. Actually, one of you should attack the stable. Really? Just destroying their town center was enough? Huh. Normally it's like. Lord of Zaragoza was a gifted leader of men, but like many of the Moors, he was also a poet and artist. The cultural achievements of the Moors made the rest of Europe seem barbaric in comparison. As the Sid parlayed with Lord Motamid in his sumptuous palace, he feasted on meals that came floating down an indoor stream. Motamid bestowed rich gifts on the Sid and made him a wealthy man. But the Sid, ever the loyal servant of Castile, convinced Motamid to ratify a treaty, making Zaragoza part of Castile. The Cid never fought openly against King Alfonso, though he did make enemies with Count Berenguer and other Spanish lords who wanted only tributes of gold from the Moors and were not interested in making alliances with them. Count Berenguer would remain the Cid's enemy for many years. Hmm. Rather interesting. I mean, it it makes sense, right? They they want power. They don't care about alliances or whatever. I think I explore most of the map. There isn't much that I haven't explored. 
I feel like I have high, higher difficulties. You are supposed to use your resources to break through this, which would be your first challenge. But I expected to have more followers. That that wasn't even a small army, it was just a little It was more like a raiding party than a small army, so and there is that. Well, I took my time. I could definitely see on higher is like but but yeah, definitely don't expand there. Expanding back here is so much safe. And if you're able to get fishing boats or fishing ships, I forgot what they're called, work for you, then it's pretty good. Yeah, I was surprised that all I needed to do was take out Town Center. Usually, I, you have to destroy pretty much their entire base, and they're like, alright, we'll resign. But anyways, I am going to end the stream here. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you have a good one.